Hello everybody, uh, we are here today for the two-day Silverfish uh, Festival at the Riddians Fishery, sponsored by RW Floats. And I've been looking forward to this for some time now, to be honest, it's a really, really, really lovely place. Uh, enjoy fishing here. So, back to go and get the draw done. Um, wish me luck and I hope you all learn a bit as well. Right, so I've drawn peg nine on the match pool, uh, which is it's a good area, but there's a lot of good pegs in that area, if you know what I mean. So it sort of like sticks out on a little bit of a point, and the pegs round to the right are generally slightly better, I feel. But there's, there's fish in the area. Normally a lot of carp there as well. Um, good standard of angler on this match today. So got to, you know, got to do well, obviously, to... to, to uh, to get a section wing because it's on point. Um, so it'll just be about catching small skimmers, trying to sort an odd better one out. Fished a lot in that area in the past. I've drawn peg seven and peg nine and peg ten, like literally every time I've been here when I've been on that on that pool. So I'm quite confident I know what to do. Um, I'm just gonna get my stuff there, have a plumb up and then uh, see what happens. Right, so, uh, just got set up, all my baits ready. Um, plan of action for today. Now, I've got a lot of things in my head that I know that work here, because when I've fished in the past, lots of different methods work, pellets work, worms work, maggots, casters, they'll work at different times of year. So, what I've kind of done is, I've got kind of everything with me, and as the match progresses, I'm just gonna like whittle it down, to, until I know what, what is right. Might not get it right, but that's the kind of way I've always fished on it. It's because some days you can chuck loads of casters in and catch a lot of fish. Other days you can just tap like three, four, five pellets in and catch lots of fish. But it's one of them where you don't know what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna feed a couple of different areas in different depths. I've got a line at 13 meters and we'll start on with pellets. I've got another one uh, at around 10 meters. I'm gonna feed with worms at the start. I've got another one at about seven, left and right, one off here with worms, uh, one with uh, ground bait and maggots, worms and ground bait, sorry, ground bait and maggots. Um, and then I've got like a couple of swims closer to me, like edge and stuff, but they're all, importantly, they're all in different depths. So depending on what level of the water column the fish wanna be, we had some heavy rain a couple of nights ago, so they might come off the bottom and if you've gotta try and like find that line where they're sat, so hopefully we'll have a good day, catch a load of fish and uh, talk you through it as we're doing it. Right, so start off by feeding on a long line, 13 metres. This is with pellets. Not a lot of bait going in at all. Bang in line with uh, Morocco, Mr. Richard Chapman. So that one's done. Now I'm going to feed my 10 metre line. This is where I'm going to put worms in ground bait. There's a couple of casters in there, not many. So I've got, in that mix I've got 
six parts ground bait to one part worms. And it is on a shelf as well, so I'm going to feed it ever so slightly back on my elbow. It's nice and heavy, so clab it will get down, which is exactly what I want it to do. And then the next one, feed. It's around seven minutes this one. But I'm going to feed left and right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to feed, I've got some maggots and pinkies and a bit of ground bait here. And I'm just going to put a small, smallish ball, probably the size of a tangerine, a little bit misshaped. And feed the maggots in. The casters in there, too. not many. So I'm already looking what anglers are doing around the lake. I had a feed in at the same time as myself. A little bit of bait going in there. So that's to my right, to my left. I'm going to feed the same mix as I've had at 10 meters, which is my worms, which is in the six to one ratio. A few casters in there too, but not, not too many. I'm going to feed exactly the same size ball, but because I'm not feeding lots and lots of bait there, I can, I should be able to gauge. Again, I'm feeding on a slip here. I should be able to gauge um, what they respond to the best, so then I can change my other one. And, Feed that uh, accordingly too. So I've got a little um, area to here to my left hand side. Tiny ball ground bait in there. A few casters. I've not seen anyone catch a fish yet. Oh no, it's got one to my left hand side. To my right hand side, sorry. Brandon. A little ball there, a few casters in with that, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw some bait there. So I'm just going to not load to begin with. I might up the aggression on that later. And then finally, got another one down to the right hand side. Just caught a fish up there. So another small ball, a few casters same sort of thing. Paul looks like he started on a waggler. He likes it enough. Caught a small fish, Brandon's caught one next to him. I'm going to go straight in first of all on my pellet line. It's four mil expander, 16 hook. Fairly lightish rig, this one to begin with. And I'm just going to feed the tiniest little bit of bait there. I'm going to pop the tiniest ball in me. Probably about as small as I can make it, really, to be honest, you know. In my pot. Take a bit of time, nice and careful. Try and be accurate. rig ever so slightly fast because the wind's coming in at me. So. Just lay it in there. What I want to do is keep feeding these lines. Bite straight away. Make me tea go cold now. Didn't have time to drink it.
wind's coming straight out of here, so could make it tricky for presentation. Though so the bites here are normally like ever so, ever so finicky. Like that. Tiny, tiny little indicator. Really awkward to ship back here because you, the bank's higher behind you. Tiny little skimmer. Good time, first shot. Don't you hate it when that happens when anyone comes out of the net? It's a small one. Tiny fish, but a lot happening. So normally when I ship that, I like to feed. I'm not gonna feed any any bait over me, any of my short lines apart from my edges at this moment in time because That's a lot of milk then. My two to my right has got a, looks like a decent ish skimmer. I think he's fishing worms. Send it in over the top. Sometimes in here you get your bites come like as it's coming through the water. It's not common on a lot of venues, say that, to be honest. Might need to just take that trimming shot off here. small but at least it's a start. So coming up to just just over just well just under an hour sorry uh, fishing time and it's started off fairly slow doing all right from what I can see it's, everyone's catching a few fish but the stamp seems to be small at the moment um, but I'm catching as well as anyone can see to be honest so gonna stick with what I'm doing at the minute. Just at the minute, apart from having a nightmare with this bush behind me. Just catching on um, on pellets long. But I've already started to feed my 10 meter line a little bit more regularly because I think they're actually sat a little bit shallower and I'm like trying to prep that one up. And, like as the day wears on feeling that what will happen is they'll just keep coming in and I'll be able to just keep keeping in touch with them as, as they come in during the day. That tends to be what happens here a lot of the time. But I'm keeping all my other lines fed. I've not been on anything else yet. But I'm prepping up well enough for when I go on them. So I've been topping me 10 metre line up with like a little mix of worm and casters tiny bit of ground bait just to stodge it together a tiny tiny bit but on this long line 
been potting in tiny little, tiny little nuggets of micros and ground bait. But what I'm doing is when I feed, I'm not going straight on my feed, I'm, I'm fishing past. And then when I catch one past, by the time I come back onto my feed, the next chuck, so I'm catching, essentially I'm catching like two fish off of one feed. So the next chuck, when I come back, I'm fishing on my feed, I catch one there. But what happens is, is if you feed, if you feed too much or you put your float when you feed, in when you feed, what happens is, is you get lots of iffy bites and you like, like as if it brings too many in at once. So I'm just trying to like work around them, be a bit a little bit crafty because they're crafty. But the other thing is, if you don't feed, you don't catch anything. Like you just sit there and you just get odd little indications, and it, nothing really happens. So you've kind of got to put something in to get a response. But might just have a look shorter soon. Keeping all my other lines fed. So I'm gonna feed this one now, but so this is my 10 meter line. Well, it's about nine meters actually. I'm just putting a tiny bit of bait there. Richard opposite me has just gone short. So if he catches a fish there, I'll, I'll probably have a look myself. I've also I've changed my rig as well. I've put a slightly heavier rig on, uh, a 0.6, um, with my shots like bulked down further. Uh, probably show you afterwards, but it's loads better than the lighter rig. Caught a couple on it to begin with, but some of them. Are, I mean, this one's like really small. It's, Only way of catching, but they all count, they all count, so. Just trying to build up a bit of a rhythm. So, I'll catch up with you in probably about an hour or so, depending on when Adam tells me I can. Right, so just coming into uh, hour three. Oh, just past hour three, should I say? It's, um, it's fishing really, really difficult. It's just like you can't get run the fish off any line really. You're just having to like work around my lines, pick them off. Um, I've had a little run down this edge here on casters. Right, some couple of better hybrids, a nice perch, some some half decent roach as well. Um, but I can't again I can't just keep can't just keep plundering it. I'm having to just like go in, catch a few, come off it, go back out long, catch catch one or two on pellets again. Probably gonna have to move again in a sec to be honest because it's a bit picky, they've gone a bit finicky again. Like, as soon as you start like missing bites and stuff, or the stamp decreases, like that one, it's time to switch it, switch it around. So go back out long, and I think now, really, the match. It's just a case of picking them off all, all the time. I'm just trying to keep putting something in my net. I know Brandon and uh, Paul are catching and catching skimmers, but they just keep getting like small runs of them. But on this line of fi I'm fishing at the minute, um, just keep, I've just basically just kept topping it up with small balls, not, not loose fed any bait here. Um, just topping it up with like small tiny balls, but I'm fishing worms here. 
because I know it's a good bait on this lake. But it's not really, again, it's not really kicked off. I've only caught a couple of skimmers on it. But I feel like it might get better later on, this one. But um, again, it's just another line that I'm, I'm keeping to. So for, basically, in the minute, I've got three lines on the go, essentially. I started off feeding like um, five, six if you count that edge. That'll be a cart then. They are definitely starting to... Right now, this is a problem now, uh, this time of day. Cart. Amazing what... Um, how they fight on this sort of gear, actually. Shame they don't count, but never mind. <laughs> bye bye, mister. What you can find though is when you do catch carp, like you tend to find like the, like the bigger skimmers and bream, they tend to like follow them in. So I've just got to sort of try and stay in contention. I'm definitely the top three, I would say. Um, but I've just got to keep working, working really hard and trying to make the most of this last part of the match it's like this is the important part now where it's like bigger fish will start to come into it a lot more carp will get hooked as well um, I've just got to try and keep picking them off or I might may get a run somewhere um, it's hard to say if that will happen I don't I kind of don't think it will I think it'll just stay the same looking at what like what is happening on the lake um, it's just a difficult day difficult day I mean there's some really good anglers on here and they're not nobody's like catching a consistency consistently at all really just them odd runs of fish so hopefully with a bit of luck staying in contention <laughs> just keep feeding my lines I'll manage to do enough I'll catch up with you in a little while right so coming up to about 40 minutes to go and it's literally gone carp o'clock everywhere everyone's hooking them unsettling the fish in this last 10 minutes probably been the worst spell of the match not really put a lot in the net at all um every line i've dropped in on i've up to carp and they cat they're hooking them to the right opposite as well so certainly a few about, and I just think what happens is it unsettles them. Um, so really, it's a case of just like hoping that you're enough off carp, get them out of the way, and eventually might get another one or two skimmers before the end, because it's, it's, it's certainly got harder. Had a little run of three fish on my 10 metre line. Um, Apart from that, it's very, very slow. Very slow. That's another carp there. 
10 in the tail. <laughs> Probably about 9 by 100. Yeah. Right everybody, that is that. Um, it's been a tough day. A lot harder than what it usually is to be honest. Um, it's been really hard to string a run of fish together. Now, I think I've done okay. Um, I'm hoping I'll be second. I think Brendan's beat me. Paul has had a ton of fish as well. Um, but I think I beat everyone else. So I think at worst I'll be third. With a bit of luck, I, I feel like I've caught a lot of a lot of fish. So I've like kept my net ticking over all day with like roach and things and whatnot. So maybe fill in, in the gaps with those other fish. Um, I might have just done enough, but it'll be tight regardless. I just think they've caught better fish up there. So, um, yeah, it is what it is. Feeding-wise, though, caught on a couple of different things, really. Um, not, not really settled on any set thing that's, that's worked. I've caught some on pellets long at 13 metres. I've caught some at 10 metres on worms. And then I've caught some down to that area to there on casters. And there's... The pattern was you go in, you catch one, two, three fish if you're lucky, and then you just can't get bites again. And it, especially the last hour, hour and a half, it's, there's just been too many carp moving about and they've just not settled anywhere. And it's been really, well, for myself anyway, it's been really poor the last hour. So hopefully I've done enough in the previous hours to that. I had a good start. So um, hopefully, I'm, you know, I'm thinking I've perhaps got maybe 20 pounds. Um, we'll see, we'll check in a minute. So, I'm going to get packed up and uh, let you know how we get on in a bit. You ready? Uh, 24.12. Cheers, mate. Yeah. Thank you. Right, so uh, weighed in, uh, the all important um, weighing in process. And we've had uh, 2412, a little bit more than I thought I got. I thought I got about 20 pounds, so a tiny bit more than I thought. Um, second in section. So decent results taken into tomorrow. Quite quite happy with that though. Not sure if I could have won. Maybe. Like spoke to Brendan who's won the section with twenty-eight pound. I think he's had twenty-eight something. Uh, Paul's been third with twenty-two. So fairly tight. But with the stamper fish, he's obviously caught quite a few more than me. I mean, I've had a bad last hour. Uh, the carp have ruined it a bit. But he's kind of just fit, Brendan. He's kind of fished just one line all day. Sat patient kept picking them off whereas I've like rotated a lot and worked to try and get a weight looked like I was doing okay and, and I have um, so I'm quite, I'm, I'm quite happy um, but just a little thing in the back of my mind now to, to take into tomorrow maybe just need to you know tone it down a bit on what I'm doing be a little bit more simplistic and perhaps you know fish like that a bit more tomorrow though that lake is a little bit different it's a little bit deeper that lake and there's a few more F1s and brown goldfish and things in there. So uh, consider that as well. But yeah, I'll, uh, it's a good, it's good result to take to tomorrow and uh, keeps us in the hunt for a main, a main prize. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy to be honest. So you'll catch up with you tomorrow for another one. draw 
and drawn peg 26 on the folly. Uh, decent area of the bait, to be honest. This is generally the better side. Smack in the middle of the section, quite happy. A um, lot of good anglers in this section. We've got lovely Andy May on my left. Uh, beyond him, Richard Chapman, who was second in his section yesterday. And on the end is uh, Brandon, who won his section yesterday. So kind of going to take points off each other today. So there's that consideration. But um, I'll talk to you about tactics and stuff on the uh, next bit. But I'm just going to get set up first. And um, yeah, we'll catch up with you later. Okay, right, so we've got about five, six minutes before all in. Um, approach wise today, I've gone, it's a lot simpler today. I've fished this lake a few times and um, I've always caught well on worms. I've caught on pellets before. Worms seem to debate on here. So I'm, I'm just gonna go with what I feel confident doing. So essentially I've got two long lines at 30 meters. One I'm gonna feed with uh, like, about 150 mil of bait at the start and do the one I'm just going to put a little bit on. Uh, both exactly the same mix, so worms in ground bait. Um, short, I'm going to feed exactly the same mix again. That's The short line is probably about seven metres ish today, just on the slope. Uh, so I'm going to feed one ball there, but I'm going to lose feed casters over that because you can catch some nice roach on here, hybrids and that through the water. Cheeky little edge line down here, might, might catch on it. Uh, not too sure about that, but it's really today it's going to be, I think, about getting your head down long, fishing for skimmers, the small skimmers. That are, that's what makes the weights up on these matches. Um, again, I've got some very good anglers in my section today. Uh, there's a bit of a congregation of leaves like coming into this bank here as, like, as the wind's pushing it in. So that may cause me a few problems later on, um, but just have to get through it. So, yep. Uh, Couple, couple of little bits to sort before I, um, before I start and uh, catch up with you after the first hour, I suppose. To be honest, it's fishing absolutely really well. It's really bad, really bad. I've got two skimmers and a handful of tiny roach, and no one. There's an odd fish coming out on the far bank, but no one on this side seems to be catching anything at all. So I've started off long. That's where I've had my two fish on my negative line. Um, get the feeling they'll probably feed in a bit but there's not even any like f1s or carp or anything getting getting hooked it's just very very strange very quiet i've had a little look down the edge not had a bite there um, and as you can probably see the leaves are a slight issue in that it's quite hard to get your rig in. Like, I want to try and fish a lighter rig, but you just, I'm trying to fish a, a lighter rig, should I say, and I'm, you're just really struggling to get it in. Um, so yeah, it's very, very tough, very tough. Hopefully it just slowly improves throughout the day, but there's a, the wind that's coming this way is a north wind. And I've got the feeling that the fish are sort of off the back of it. That was a bad fish. Check my bait still on. Just is. Just be case of I think today. Just being patient, steadily build it up. Um, got chucking some casters on my shoreline, but I'm not feeding many at all because I'm. It's telling me that this. 
it's going to be difficult, you know. Um, so you don't want to go walloping loads of bait there and not catch it. All I can catch is an odd, really, really small roach. Like I said, I've had two skimmers, one about six ounce, one about 12 ounce. And plenty of leaves. Plenty of leaves. But yeah, well, uh, sorry we can't catch any more fish at the minute, but that is match fishing for you. Some days you are like this and it becomes really hard. At the minute, it's looking like it's going to be a very, very, very slow day. So, a little update in a bit. Rich Chapman's had a couple of skimmers, but not many. So yeah, we'll catch up in a bit and hopefully with a bit of patience things will have improved a little. to our two now and it hasn't got any better at all um, very 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 slow very slow and it seems the same for everybody as well I think Richard Chapman and the guy our two to our two to my left have probably caught the most fish um, and probably got six or seven skimmers a piece it's not great I've got at the minute four skimmers and some some roach a couple of chunky ones but nothing nothing great um, tried short no bites tried on the edge no bites uh, which I kind of expected really with how hard it is um, I've tried altering my feed on my worm line uh, I'm a negative one and I've like slopped it up a little bit more, make a bit more of a clad, put through the water. Not really brought about any response at all, just catching odd, odd small roach on it. Um, so thinking that I may be on the wrong bait, I have put, I've gone, I've put another section on, gone a little bit further out into the lake um, and I've fed some pellets there, probably put about 150 I say pellets like a small palmful, um, along with a tiny ball of ground bait. Left it 10 minutes, just dropped on it. I've, I've had a bite, but just cannot seem to get a response on anything at all. Every, everybody's the same. Everybody's the same. Ooh. As that said, it's just gone then. That's on that line, so. Annoying if got a little extra section and I've got a double ship really. Small skimmer. It's number five. Need to pick up the pace though and start putting a few together. This I can't really see anybody catching though. There's a guy two in from that side. I I'm not sure who it is. He's getting a few fish. Um, I think the other lake is fishing a bit better from by all accounts, but then again, that's not hard given how hard this one is. Um, yeah, the only good thing is, is at the minute, the leaves have cleared off a little bit, so. It's uh, a little bit easier to maneuver my rigging and out, which is nice. Um, and that is about it at the minute so I'll see if this works a bit better if it is a little bit better and I do start catching on it I can potentially put another line in somewhere right over to my left hand side or sort of the extreme left where I've got a bit of room or something like that 
but for now I'm just gonna see what um, see what happens here. Just stick on this for a because I've just caught a fish on it, so I'll just see if it starts to get better the more I feed it. And we'll catch up with you soon. Right, so um, just change what I'm doing, like I said previously, and um, just start. Just put some pellets in longer. It's, de it's it's definitely just picked up this last ten minutes. Fish it just looked like they've had a go. So whether it's a bit of coincidence, but just put some pellets in more and drop in and on it now. And the response has been pretty pretty good. I've had three skimmers and three shocks. Missed, missed a couple of bites as well. And to be honest, I can't believe I can't believe how good it is. I can't believe the difference. It's amazing really to be honest. So I kind of was thinking like maybe I've just been on the wrong bait. So um, match has ended. I've all weighed in. Um, finished fourth in the section uh, with 13 pound dead. Not totally gone to plan. Um, very, very difficult. 21 pounds won the section on the end there. Uh, Brent, Brendan again, he's, he's done really well. Uh, 17 was second. Um, Brad next to me, he's caught along on pellets. Um, and then it's been a 13 8 and then me with 13. And anyway, he's been next to me. He's, was last it's just been really 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 difficult um, in summary and what I think about the day I think I don't well I'm not I'm not sure because everything I've done I've just hooked carp F1s and goldfish and stuff it doesn't really matter how I've fed when I've fed fish past the bay all them sort of things it's just nothing's worked for me. Um, I've even like tried to catch some roach and stuff down the edge and all of up there is calm. So it's been a, a little bit of a disaster, but you get matches like that at the end of the day. And I suppose this is what these films are for, you know, because not every match is perfect and you can win all the time. You have you have to update, so it's good to see it. Um, and hopefully we'll do another one in the future and we'll have a bit better result. Um, Finished on six points, so not the frame. Uh, won a bit of money yesterday, finished in second, so go and pick that up and then, um, and then shoot off. Hope you've all enjoyed the video anyway, and um, see you on the next one.